Absolutely. Waiting on you. Phone down. I'm sending you love scheduled love texts to go off <laughs> all day today and tomorrow. Okay, Hi that's again. a lie. Okay, that's a lie. <laughs> Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today, this is my fourth video today. Um, just trying to get through some bin stuff. This is going to be a haul of more of the stuff from the St. Louis bins from back in December. Lots of plush, lots of neat things, a lot of bread and butter. But y'all, when, when money's tight for our buyers, they're more than likely going to, you know, wouldn't mind spending a few dollars on bread and butter stuff. So I'm good with that. And this way I'm going to have tons of stuff to list. Because I'm plowing through these bags. I think I looked since the beginning of January. I've already listed almost a thousand items on eBay and then cross list some of it to the other platforms. But, and that's not even con taking into consideration that I was very sick for several weeks. I did a little bit of work, but I seriously been listing like crazy. All right, you ready, dear? Absolutely. Here we go. I'm always ready to dive into one of these hauls with you. <laughs> Look, I am pretty sure I already have one of these listed, which makes it really easy because you're just upping the quantity. But it's a little mini with a jingle bell inside. said I wasn't going to buy any more Build-A-Bears, but I bought this Build-A-Bear, obviously, but look how the cute outfit on it. It's going to need a bath. It is vintage Build-A-Bear, but just very cute. I will sell the outfit separate eventually, but very cute. Most Build-A-Bears, when I list them, are going to, I usually list a lot of them for $9.95 and try to sell them for about $8. I had to cheat before I turned the camera on because I did not have a clue who this was, but it looked familiar. This is Nuffle Bunny from Mo Willems. It's a book, children's book series. I like the ones with the, the, uh, the dove, right? Don't know the pigeon, the pigeon, the pigeon books are hilarious, but this is Nuffle Bunny. Not a clue. I don't know. I haven't really invested any research into it, but do the older Build-A-Bear sell better than the more contemporary ones? I know there's certain ones because I did the video, you know, that do really well no matter what. But I'm just wondering if you had a Dalmatian that was re being released right now versus that one, which one has better value? I don't know. If the video editor you hired is any good, he'll put a link to the uh, Build-A-Bear video Build -A -Bear in the description. Video. Yep. But he's pretty pathetic, so. Very forgetful. <laughs> Look, this is Ikea. When I, A lot of times I tell you guys the tags are gone. This is why usually the tags are gone. No kid wants to leave that on. But nevertheless, very cute. I guess it's a Dalmatian. Most are going to be probably $10, $15 at the most. Looks more like a boxer. It does not. It does not. This is Gon's Heritage Collection. Look, he's got his little tag. How cute. He's got the little rough nose and belly, and then the rest of him is real soft. Oh, and he's, he's jointed, articulated. Very cute. I'm thinking 10 to 12 I don't know if it was a just a happy accident, but the last time I had a Habitat for Humanity plush, and he's got a specific name, it sold instantly. And then I've not had him again, so I'm not sure if it's something that he's just highly sought after or I just had one of those very quick sales, but found another one. Right buyer, right price, right, right time. Yep, exactly. Look how cute. This is Mary Meyer. I'm not sure if it has a name or anything on it. I don't believe so. But just look how cute. It's going to need a bath. It's kind of got that 
cross between like a Scentsy Buddy, right? And a Jelly Cat. Just interesting. Definitely vintage. Vintagey. Let's see. It says Albert the Running Bear, 1979, North American Bear Company. Look how cute. And he's in very good condition. What is his feet? Oh, his feet have some discoloration. So I'm going to have to make the decision because when you wash this type of vintage plush with this type of fabric, this ends up getting lots of fuzz balls or peeling on it. So do I sell it as is with the kind of yellowed shoes and then just say leaving all cleaning to buyer or do I wash it? I think this one because the body is in really nice condition with no stains. I think I'm just going to leave it and just say that there's yellowing and stains on the foot. Very cool. I think I've had one before, but I don't remember. Animal Adventure. Look how cute. It is 2017. Ah, oh, oh, look. Not good. He has a hole in his neck. He'll go, he'll go in a pile over there. One of these days I might get might get it repaired. All right, this is Ty also. These are called Pillow Pals. I like to pick them up and list them. Most of them are bread and butter. He doesn't have his little paper tag, um, but very interesting. Just they're cute and I like this style. Oh, needs a bath. Look at that on his belly. It almost looks like, I don't know, just kind of got run across the floor. Looks Kelly toy. Yep. 2020. Not even very old. Very soft. It's like somebody got it and then it just automatically got donated a few months later. I've already tested this and it does work. It just makes noise and shakes. It is SeaWorld, no date, very cute. I don't know, I'm hoping maybe 15 or so for it. Now when I list plush that have batteries in it, I don't ship it with batteries in. I test it, I have a video of it working, um, and then I remove the batteries. Um, First of all, I don't know how long it's going to be stored out in my building, and I don't want it, you know, leaking all over everything. It's added unnecessary weight to the package also when you're shipping it. But um, usually I also open up the battery case and take pictures of it to show that there's no corrosion at all from bad batteries. But that doesn't exclude things from getting list. A lot of times I still test it and say there was some corrosion in the battery area but test it and works fine that type of stuff definitely take pictures because i had one person once upon a time say i received this and the batteries are totally corroded and i want a refund they neglected to look at all of my pictures that showed there was no batteries and the battery area was totally clean and i contacted ebay and let them know I don't know what they do with that information, but if you see something like that, definitely let them know. And the, the, you know, the, they, they fixed it so that they couldn't leave me any feedback. I've heard that bad buyers are quickly and permanently banned from eBay. Yeah, no, we all wish, but no. They're quickly and permanently banned from purchasing from you though. Yes, they are. You send me one message like that, you are automatic on the block bidder list, and it's hundreds and hundreds deep. 24 years. I think, well, March will be 24 years. So, yeah, I've, I've used the block bidder list as long as it's been made available to me. You, no, you've used the block bidder list frequently as long as it's been available frequently. to you. Frequently. You don't pay for a list of purchase you're on my block bidder list. There's no second chance. There's none of this. They come right back and they buy it again. And they, you know, I saw a post about that. And then all of a sudden they get it and they're claiming that there's something wrong with it. No, they would have never been able to buy from me again. So we all have our opinions on that though. Look how cute. 
But look, this is a newer tag, I think. It is gunned. Very interesting. I don't know if I've even seen that tag before. Very cute, dark chocolate bear. Probably $12 to $15. I like how you hold that intentionally sideways. So not only do I have to zoom in on it, I have to rotate it now, <laughs> he too. Does. He fixes them, y'all. When you're seeing a tag, it probably was not originally that way. He's flipped it and brought it zoomed and all of that. Y'all, look at this. Look. All right, here's his face. Look, isn't this just the neatest, weirdest thing? I'm sure he's somebody. I'm sure he has a name, but there ain't a single tag on this thing for me to figure it out. I don't even know what was his purpose. Is he a scarf? I don't think so. I, I don't know. He's not a puppet. His mouth doesn't open. He's got those eyes. We'll put him on the clothing board and take a picture and see if Google Google Lens will tell us something. Don't know. Isn't that just the weirdest plush ever? Ever. Y'all, I don't know. It says Tata. Must be removed by consumer. Line friends. Is this a character? I'll have Robert Google it. It seems like it's a character to some show that obviously I'm not familiar with anymore. This is Dairy Queen. There is a whole series of these. At one point from that high bid estate sale that I picked up um, almost two years ago, I had the complete set in their original bags and I sold it for a lot of money. But anytime I see these, I pick them up. This is from that Hanna-Barbera cartoon. I don't remember the name of it, but this one's in really good condition. I'm hoping maybe like Ten, twelve dollars for it. This is Tycho, Sesame Street, Ernie, clip on. I think some people use like backpack clip on. A lot of kids like to put these on their backpacks. Just very cute. Definitely vintage. 97. Probably list him for like 9.95. I'm pretty sure I have somebody another bear like this but I'm not sure if it's going to be Supergirl or Superwoman or whatever her name is but these are gunned oh yeah it says Supergirl gunned I think there's a whole series of these bread and butter I ever mentioned that super ex-girlfriend show I can't remember if I did there's a show I think it was Luke Wilson my super ex-girlfriend but he met like I can't remember what the girl's name was but she was like super girl mm -hmm. and she was going around and he accidentally saved her but you know somebody like grabbed her purse and he ran him down because he thought because she was in her Clark Kent style outfit and so she kind of fell in love with him and started dating him and then she was kind of crazy and <laughs> had emotional had psychological issues so he broke up with her and then she did crazy stuff like stalked him and threw a shark into his bedroom and it was hilarious y'all i watch no tv none so yeah his his moments of trying to tell me about a series he's watching or whatever it's like really interesting and then she goes back to sleep <laughs> then i get back to my book Look how cute. I love this series. Look at that just cute smiley face. This is Greenbrier. That's actually, I think, Dollar Store, Dollar General. That's interesting because I'm thinking this is the same face for like one of the Commonwealth plush. Snowden or one of, you know, that whole series. Interesting though. Probably maybe 15 to 20 just because of its size. Did you figure this I keep, out? I keep seeing BT21 line friends. It says line friends on the tag. Yeah, BTS line friends. This one says BT21 on the back. I don't know, y'all. We'll see when I get it listed. It needs a bath. It's got a few spots. Oh, he's got lots of wear. Lots of wear, but look how cute. 
skates are like felt, lots of wear. Look at his poor little whiskers are all bent up, probably from being run through a dryer. Don't put your plush in dryer. Never, never, ever, ever. Yeah, look, he's even his hair up there. I'm not sure. I'll look, see if others are listed. If there's none listed, that kind of gives me just kind of a boost towards going ahead and listing him, but it would be for like $9.95 and see what happens. They both need a bath. But look, Daniel Tiger, just very cute with his little sister. There's several in this series. Not sure if I'll be able to get that off. We'll see. A lot of times on a stain like this, it looks like it might be marker. What I'll do is I'll pour alcohol on it and try to blot this out before I wash it and see, you know, if that just gets it out. It does have lots of wear. I'm thinking together, I'd probably list them for like $9.95 just because of somebody might want it as a replacement, but they have significant wear. I find these kinds of things quite often. I think I just listed a Care Bears. You know, they were some kind of, you know, sewing craft thing. But I just think they're, somebody wants this for their vintage collection. They, I know they do. Probably about $9.95 is what I'll list it for. Love bees. Let's see seeing if this is handmade. It kind of has handmade vibes to it. I'm not seeing any tags. Nope. Not sure. Look how cute. It's got this little rabbit on it. And then it's got the little dots on the back fabric. Probably will list it for like $9.95. We, inventory, we started an inventory. One of my baskets has primarily baby gun stuff in it. Pretty sure, wasn't there one of these? There was like five of the white sheep that didn't have the lovey. But yeah, I tend to pick these up. I just think they're adorable. But for the most part, I, it's probably going to get listed for like $6.95, $7.95 plus shipping. But just cute. This is, uh-oh. Oops. It's got a bad battery. I don't know what I'll do now. Do you have to hold it? Oh. Huh. Guess I wasn't holding it right. I grab these all the time. The vintage ones do quite well. These, I think they were just play. Re-put the uh, puppy surprises out. These are in nice condition. Probably still list them for like $9.95 for the three of them. If I have more, I may put more of them together and make it a larger lot. Beanie Boos. I don't pick them up very often. This one does have its tag. It just was interesting looking. I just sold like a green cat or something for like $15. So some of them are worth money, but most of them are going to be bread and butter. Wild Republic, big old brown bear. Kind of looks like the Coles Cares one that goes to the book. Um, brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Just very interesting. Most of the Wild Republics I've been listing for either like $9.95 or $14.95. This would probably one, probably, I don't know, $12.95 or $14.95. Here's another Wild Republic. A little ring-tailed lemur. Very cute. Probably $9.95. I may have one like that listed too. Oh, this is Koala Baby. You can hardly tell the tag, but I know that little remnant right there is Koala Baby. But look, it's a rattle. Needs a bath. Sometimes these Koala Babies are worth a lot. So I'm hoping 12 to 15 Baby Gund says, my first teddy. I just listed one this size, but I can't remember if it was pink or blue. But most of these are going to be like maybe $12 to $15, I think. 
this one intrigues me. He needs a bath, but dinky D, dinky die. It says something Australia.com. Very interesting. It's got a, like a pleather nose. Probably $9.95 still. Love these. Look how cute. Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, although the card does say Valentine's Day. It is Main Joy. I just sold another one on Posh or Mercari um, that was very similar to this, but just cute. Probably $9.95, $12.95. All right, two more. Nothing grand. Told you a whole lot of bread and butter. This is Walmart. Cute little sloth, rainbow colors. Needs a bath desperately, but make sure also it's hanging so it's got the Velcro hands. Make sure you clean them out. Um, just presentation, right? Just make sure that all of them are cleaned out. I use like a vintage doll brush that's got really stiff bristles, but a lot of people say they use like a pet comb. Um, something like that to clean them out, you know, just something to go through there instead of trying to pick it all individually, you know, that you can brush it out and get them cleaned up. <laughs> Not the most special thing in the bag for sure. These are Bunnies by the Bay. This series was by Walmart. I have a couple of these already listed. Um, if I've got one single by itself that's not this one, I may go ahead and end it and add this one to it. They are probably like for two of them, $12.95 or something like that. Not a whole lot, but look how cute. Absolutely adorable. All right, that's four videos. Oh, and we didn't do a wardrobe change, so all four videos are gonna have the same shirt. Sometimes we do wardrobe changes. I have shirts over there to change into, but like I'll all get, the singers at their concert, you like run behind stage and change wardrobes, change shirts real quick, and then come back over here because you guys don't see what pants I'm wearing. So, all right, it's time to get to work. Bye.